Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been prepping my skin for this summer using some Estee Lauder daywear products, which are beautiful, may I say. And I'm also going to show you how I got this kind of light summery bronzy look uh, using some of their makeup, which I've never really used before. But oh my gosh, you guys will see in the video how I feel about it, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys how to kind of prep and get this kind of look really quickly if you've got like a busy lifestyle or something. I'm currently in Cyprus, as you guys can probably tell. I'm in a summery location, you guys can probably hear like birds tweeting and stuff. And I'm actually kind of in a rush. I'm going to a wedding in literally like half an hour, so I had to get my makeup done quickly because I've had quite a busy schedule whilst I've been here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you want to see how I got this look and how I prep my skin with some beautiful, beautiful skincare, then please keep on watching. Let's start with the Estee Lauder Daywear Eye. Now, I don't generally use eye cream, but I feel like after using this, I am going to be using it forever. It feels so cooling and refreshing, as does the Estee Lauder Daywear 24 Hour Moisture Cream, as you can see right here. Both of them have helped to depuff my skin, and I feel like I'm quite puffy because I'm super busy at the moment, traveling, not getting enough sleep. Wait till you see how my skin looks after this as well, guys. It's insane. This moisturizer is perfect for my skin type. I've kind of got like normal to dry skin, but day wear is perfect for you as well because it's suitable for all skin types. I've been really into skincare lately because I feel the most confident when my skin is amazing and I feel like hydration is so important. Day wear actually keeps your skin hydrated for 24 hours. I've definitely noticed brightness in my skin has improved a lot and like I said, the puffiness has gone down a lot, which is amazing for like if you've got any events or activities to do like during the week. I'm going to a this day so I'm always kind of on the go traveling a lot my skin gets really puffy and bloated and I feel like this definitely has kind of minimized the look of that and also it contains SPF 15 which is so important to keep your skin protected especially when you're in a hot country like Cyprus where I am right now so I've just done my brows and concealer off camera but please note guys I'm not wearing any foundation here because I feel like my skin is absolutely glowing. So to start off I'm going to go in with the Bronze Goddess Powder Bronzer in 04 Deep and just contour my face. So I'm just going to do my cheekbones, my forehead, my chin, my chinny chin chin and my nose. And I think we all know what's going to be in my favourites video this month. <laughs> I'm also just going to contour my eyes with that colour just because I think it looks nice and it's a nice bronzy touch. Then I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy eyeshadow in the shade Brash Bronze. These are really, really beautiful, very pigmented. So I'm just going to take a light hand and kind of trace that in my outer corners and make a V shape just to elongate my eyes a little bit and then I'm going to go in with the same eyeshadow in the shade Decadent Copper which is such a stunning shade and it just kind of adds some light to your eyes, a bit of shimmer, such a gorgeous colour and again these eyeshadows are so nice and they lasted the whole night. And I'm just going to take the bronzer and kind of blend away the edges a little bit just to make sure it's seamless. And then we're going in with the Pure Colour Envy Lash Multi Effects. Look at this brush, guys. There's like, I feel like there's a thickening, like a volumizing side and a lengthening side. I put two coats of this on and this also is probably going to be in my favourites because it's such a good mascara. Then I'm going to go back in with the Bronze Goddess Powder in a lighter shade, which is 03 Medium Deep. And use this as my actual kind of blush slash bronzer so happy that I've tried these now because they are definitely up there in my favourite bronzers. And then I'm taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear Highlighting Cushion Stick. This is beautiful, it's such a natural gorgeous kind of golden highlight, not really shimmery and glittery, it's like the perfect, look. I mean you can just see how much I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to intensify that a little bit with this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighter. Look how stunning this is. When I opened it, I, it was just beautiful. The packaging, the actual highlight itself, beautiful. It's like this golden, shimmery, bronzy thing of beauty. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to intensify and top my highlight up with that. And then it's time for lip. Now I couldn't choose which colour, but then I decided to go between the two nudes. And I went for the more kind of brownie nude, which is called Bronze Leaf. Such a cute name. And before that, I just quickly used a bit of brown uh, lip liner just to outline my lips. Because I feel like the colour might have been a little bit too light otherwise. And it's just to add a bit of definition and depth and make them lips pop. And I actually really, really like this colour. I think it really went well with the look. To finish off, I'm just going to use some setting spray to keep that look on all day, and that's the look, guys. I 
Okay guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you'd like to see kind of any brand focused makeup looks or any types of makeup that you'd like to see. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but I enjoy it and it's fun. And if it'll make you guys happy, then I'm happy. So yeah, let me know what else you guys would like to see. Thank you again to Estee Lauder for working me on this video. I really enjoyed doing it. I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Until next time, bye. Mwah.